I just wanted to ask, first of all, ask about another manager, really, um, just because Ralph Rangnick has got his work permit now. Is he someone that, whose methods that you've looked at at all? Is he anyone that you've ever visited as, as part of your managerial development? Um, I once had a, a beer with him and Paul Mitchell, who I know um, just as you beer that was in the night for a Leaders in Sport conference. Um, so I met him there. We just chewed the fact about football and the challenges and, and obviously he was having that Burnley at the time. It was a few years ago, pandemic, so probably three years ago, I think it was. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and Paul Mitchell went over with him and uh, was ex Tottenham and stuff like that. So I had a good chat with him about Gem. Not, no, never really looked at his, his own individual work. I know he's, he's done some good work, of course. I was just wondering then if you had any idea or any thoughts on what he might bring to the Premier League. Particularly because he, I'm sure, like most managers, they, they'll have a base that they work from, but equally, look around at the playing squad, the, the, the staff he's working with or introduced to. Um, there's kind of, I get the feel from what's been reported, there's a kind of consultancy kind of background to it as well. Um, no, I, I think he's well travelled enough to know that he'll have to learn about the players quickly, right? And probably find the crossover, the style that he thinks will work and the style will work, you know, and I think there's always with a new manager, no matter who you are. Uh, do you know quite then what to expect from, from Eddie this weekend? Obviously, we know what Eddie's all about, but he's not necessarily had a, a fair amount of time to get his ideas across to, to the Newcastle squad. Well, certainly, first things first, please see Eddie back. A lot of respect. Uh, he knows how to text him and said, well done, you know, if he goes well, etc. Not against us, of course, obviously, but and himself and his staff. Um, I think from what I saw the other night, and I uh, trying to add to the tempo of it, trying to get on the front foot a little bit more. Um, and he'd like expansively, maybe a touch of that. Um, but he'll still be finding, you know, the best route with what he I was just saying um, about Ralph Ragnick. You know, finding finding the best, um, best mix of what your belief is and what you can do, and then what the belief is and what the players can do. And I, and I think you go through that. Um, and I think Eddie's been around the game long enough now, that's for sure know that he'll have to find that mixture and, and like all of us you need to find it sooner rather than later uh, that's the way uh, sort of up and down start um, obviously sending off the other night that affected the game but no I'm, I'm sure he's uh, I'm sure he's well aware of the task um, that, that is to be at a club I imagine it to be uh, the demand there um, to be doing better than they are doing when we spoke to Johan earlier, he said it's a massive game and he also described it as a fun game because of the respective positions and Newcastle obviously still looking for their first win. So how do you see it? I just see it as another game. They're all important games. We know that. Um, you know, we've only lost one in eight, but we also equally know that. Um, the, the fine margins we have to get on the right side of. Um, strong performance last night defensively, not so good offensively, but we have been better in that department more recently. You know, we still maintain the belief in ourselves. We still maintain the belief in us going on the road, getting points on the board in the Premier League. So that will still be the, the main focus for us. Awareness of um, changes there, um, possible change, as I said, tempo and changes in the style of what um, Still, Still, you know, no game is an easy game. Just because teams haven't really got their first win, time and all the rest of it, no games are easy in the Premier League. So we have to go there with a, a firm jaw and ready to put. So what do you see is the stronger position to be in at the minute? Obviously, Newcastle potentially have a lot of money to spend in January, but you have the, the experience and, and the togetherness within your squad that, that has seen you through uh, numerous campaigns of staying in the Premier League. So going forward, what do you feel is, is the stronger position to be in short term and then, I suppose, longer term? Well, long, <coughs> excuse me, long term money is very better. Short term, you've got to find a way. No matter what, money, no money, you've got to find a way. Um, and so the board game wins. Eddie will definitely know that um, from his time in the game. Long term beneficial. Um, January windows tough, no matter whether you've got money or not. Um, you know, it's fair share of uh, trials and tribulations and problems and all the rest of it. Um, and then even as in that window, you've got a very short period of time to, to make it all work. So sometimes you're looking for. Uh, when a player you sign, if, if they were to sign players, just, just hit the ground running. Sometimes it takes a bit longer. But money, money eventually is very, very helpful in uh, the Premier League, without a doubt. The immediacy is without the money, so therefore working with the players you've got and, and trying to get wins on the best possible. 
Uh, obviously, last night you mentioned uh, Charlie and, and potentially being in England for thoughts as well, certainly believing that he should be at least around that, that, those kind of thoughts. So what more do you feel that, then that he has to do to kind of enhance his chances of, of getting in, in and around that squad now? Well, I think last night he was certainly adding the balance in his play to the attack. Things I think he can still add to his detail going into the final third with his crossing capabilities and passing to the box, not just across. Um, you know, clever movement going into the box from the left, which is beginning to to uh, increase in his play. I think um, last night, defence standard. You know, I, I was I was quite surprised. I think um, I think this is right. I think possibly man of the match. Um, I, I couldn't see that. I thought Charlie was standard. I thought locked it down. And Troy's a threat. We know that with his power and his pace. Apart from one break away and get the bar, of course. Um, I thought he was outstanding last night. And you know, defenders still have to defend. You know, but that's what sometimes gets. And in the Premier League, it's very difficult. You know, we were in a, it was a tough game for us last night. Having seven defenders a unit, we did that well, and he played a massive part in that. I think his performance is all this season. To grow, continues to mature, and I think he's he's going on really well at the moment. And as a side, does the last two games kind of sum up the balance that you're looking for at the moment? Obviously, three goals at home to Palace and a, a clean sheet away at Wolves, and a point taken from from both games respectively. Yeah, you've got to be careful. You know, it's when when you think and you want to win every game, of course, but sometimes you come away from a game. Certainly, we did last night. Thought, no, that's a you know tough game at Wolves. They're going well. Um, they had a reaction from a bit of a flat performance. Uh, the weekend, so there was a reaction there, and I thought we dealt with it mostly. Um, we've got to play, got to play a bit better with the ball. We we have done actually recently. We've, we've caused teams more problems than we did last. Um, you know, two players went in, did very well, but we're still missing two important players. You know, here's Mataki and uh, Weston. They come back into the fold, of course. Um, so you know, and we have done more later, uh, laterally, but taking a clean sheet and a point away, you still can't overthink that. that and especially on the road in the Premier League. Finally for me, Sean, any update on Ashley Barnes as well as to how long you're looking at? Yeah, Barnes, is, Barnes, like I say, it's going to be weeks. It's not going to be days. Um, hopefully not too many weeks for this um, situation. Excuse me. Dale Steams, we're monitoring through the COVID protocols, of course. Uh, too drastic, but probably won't get in the squad for the weekend. And then the two... Obviously, with um, uh, Barnsley and uh, sorry, Westy and uh, Tucker. Tom, cheers, Sean. Thank you. <clears throat>